so we are finally at that point of the year where discussing this topic only makes sense which is private versus government colleges for aerospace engineering and what should you choose hello everyone i'm sai simran verma your favorite aerospace engineer and don't worry i have got your back i wish when i was starting someone could guide me like i am going to guide you guys so that you can get a better clarity on what to choose what to do and just figure out the whole college situation every year thousands of students choose aerospace engineering with one silent fear in mind what if my college decides my future especially when you don't get into a prestigious government college like an iit today i want to talk about private versus government colleges for aerospace engineering not from rankings or opinions but from lived experience because i studied aerospace engineering from a private college and yet right after my graduation i worked alongside graduates from iits in the aerospace industry at the number one aerospace company in the world not because of luck not because of shortcuts but because of my skills persistence and years of consistent effort so if you're confused anxious or second guessing your choice stay with me let's talk about my background first i completed my aerospace engineering from university of petroleum and energy studies which was in dehradun uttarakhand in india yes it's a private university no it's not an iit and i want to say this clearly and without any hesitation not being from a prestigious government college did not stop me from building a career in aerospace after graduation i worked in teams where these top college graduates were my colleagues my equals my collaborators and as you may know i was recruited by airbus right after my college completed let's clear the biggest misconception now as per my knowledge there is a dangerous misconception among students that your college name alone decides your opportunities your credibility your growth that belief is comforting but incomplete in aerospace engineering your college can open a door but only your competence allows you to walk through it I was not treated differently because I wasn't from a prestigious government college. I was evaluated on what I knew, what I could explain, what I had built. That's how aerospace works in the real world. Now coming to comparison between private and government organization, let's talk about a few important factors. Firstly, infrastructure. Let's talk about infrastructure. Government colleges are often believed to have superior labs. Private colleges are assumed to be all show, no substance. Really, what's the reality? Government colleges often have legacy infrastructure. Private colleges often have modern infrastructure. But here's the truth: students don't hear enough. Infrastructure does not educate you. Usage does. you can have access to a wind tunnel and still graduate without understanding aerodynamics you can have limited facilities and still build excellent projects if you are proactive what matters is are you curious are you experimenting are you going beyond lab manuals second important factor when it comes to comparison is faculty and learning responsibility In government colleges you'll find professors with deep academic experience in private college you'll find a wide spectrum but aerospace engineering teaches you one harsh truth early no one will chase you to learn no one will chase you to learn write that down i learned the most when i stopped expecting my college to shape me and started shaping myself within the college reading extra material reading extra material building projects after class asking uncomfortable questions that mindset matters more than faculty lists coming to the next point is brand value versus exposure yes prestigious government colleges carry brand value that can help in initial filtering but the brand value fades very quickly when you are asked to explain your projects why did you choose this design what would what would you do differently yada yada yeah aerospace interviewers are not impressed by tags they are impressed by clarity of thoughts that's why students from private college who build strong exposure often work alongside students from top government institutes and trust me i am the living proof of that okay now the most important part placements internships and the real game let me be very honest here My internships and placements were not because of my college or my college name at all. 
all my internships and my placement at Airbus was solely because of my own efforts. They were the result of years of project work, rejections, cold emails, networking, showing up even when nothing was guaranteed. I did not wait for opportunities to come to campus. I built contacts, I reached out to professionals, I learned how to present my work, I stayed persistent when things didn't work out. Getting recruited by Airbus was not luck. It was sheer hard work and consistency compounded over time. In my other video, which I shared with you guys about how I got into Airbus, I have mentioned it a thousand times that I was so persistent. I used to check in every day and I believe that it is that consistency that got me that job. Now, what matters more than college type? What matters more than private versus government? Fundamentals, projects you truly understand, internships that teach you something real, communication skills, persistence when things move slowly. And trust me, the last point is very important. Persistence when things move slowly, you have to be patient. Your space is not fast, but it is fair to those who stay disciplined. Aim or choose for a government college if you are comfortable in competitive environments. You are self-driven, you value legacy system, choose private college. If you are proactive, you are willing to build your own exposure, you won't wait for permission to grow. Neither path is inferior. Lack of effort is. College is not your destiny, it's your starting point. Your degree gives you wings, your efforts decide how far you'll fly. Hi, this is the editing version of me. So I have not named any colleges private, any private colleges because that could be detrimental to some people's image and I don't want to, you know, stir up any kind of um, drama in that way. So I have not named any private colleges, but I have listed down below some potential colleges that you could check out if you're if you're like planning to go for private ones and also i think all of us know what the government sector holds so that shouldn't be an issue okay guys so much for watching and all the best i'll see you guys in the next one bye